Extreme Rules OMG moments. WWE might only do it once out of the year, but WHF right here on this channel, we do it 24-7, 365 days a year. We keep it extreme, man. If you watch any of those figure matches, we bring it. Undertaker, right? We got a tag team match. We got Roman over here. He's working on Shane O'Mac. It looks like he's going to spear him right through the barricade. We're not here to cover this section, though. I'm sure it would be pretty epic, but one thing I wanted to show you is some of these epic moments that we've seen throughout time, as well as some stuff that I still want to see. Obviously, this might never happen, but if it does, just imagine, right? We got Undertaker over here. We got Drew McIntyre. This might be SummerSlam. I think if Undertaker does this match right here between Drew McIntyre, it's going to be like, I want to go out with a bang. And you know what Undertaker would be doing if that was the case? He'd be doing all that high-flying stuff he used to do, right? He used to do this one diving suicide dive from the top. He would go off one end, and he'd come back, and then right there through the announcer table who got it worse i don't know <laughs> it looks like the announcer table though hero fix you all right man hero fix is all good undertaker though Ooh, drew mcintyre though he's suffering look at that his back is against the wall this ain't it though no we're gonna do a lot more moves you guys did enjoy this man we're gonna keep rocking it through let's get into the next moment one of the first things I wanted to do when I got this entrance stage is get Jeff Hardy. Jeff Hardy, he knows how to use that side scaffolding. And no, he wouldn't do it off the entrance rampway. Get out of here. Uh-uh. And just imagine this match. Like when he does come back. Him versus Ricochet. I mean, it doesn't have to be an extreme rules match. But just have those two going at it. Fantasy right there. But... Right here, what is planned out. Now, normally, the announcer table, it sits right over there. But I wanted to bring the action nice and close to you so you can see what's going to go down right here. Jeff Hardy, he's doing it again, man. He's done it before, and he's doing it today on the channel. He would go up, right, 10, 15, 20, 30, 40. I mean, the man is on top of the arena, on top of the entrance stage, right onto the announcer table. Jeff, you ready? Hero fix, I'm ready. Let's do it. Swanton bomb from 30 feet up in the air. Oh, yes, that was legendary. That's what I'm talking about. If you are getting into this video, just wait till we go further into it. Let's get into the next moment. This one, we are reliving one of the greatest WrestleMania matches of all time. It is a later Kurt, Kurt Angle. If he does come back, of course, this is what he'd be wearing. And why is he laying in the ring? He's taking a siesta, man. That's what you do when you're retired. You go home, you put your feet up, you lay on the couch, and you take your siesta. But you can't do it. Now with all these steel chairs, and now with Brock Lesnar hanging out right here with the Brock party. Ha <laughs> ha! All right. Now this move right here that they performed at Mania, the man nearly just, yeah, he broke his neck i mean he was so close to breaking his neck but right here it just might happen <laughs> but before we do before we put him up top we gotta add a little extra to it we gotta add hero figs touch to this move so we're gonna add one we're gonna add two you know what we're gonna add the whole pile right here of steel chairs on kurt angle covering them from head to toe right there at the bottom now brock right here what he did he went up the top, right? He's like, all right, I got to make this match memorable. Let's put him over here so you guys can get a better closer look. I'm going to make this move extra me memorable. I'm going to do a shooting star press. Now, when he landed, you guys, he didn't do a full flip. He actually ended up landing on his neck. He's got the money in the bank. To add insult to injury, on top of all these chairs, he's got the money in the bank to go ahead and do so. So, shooting star press, right? He does a flip, and he lands. He's not landing on his neck today. No, he's landing on all those chairs. Oh, oh, my gosh. Let's do that one more time for good measure. Shooting star press from the top of the turnbuckle with the money in the bank briefcase. All the chairs go everywhere. Not only is he putting them in the trash bin, but he is getting into that car. How does the man even fit in there? I don't think that's a concern there, Hero Fix. I think the only thing we should be worried about right here is that if Braun Strowman is really going to do it, sure looks like it, JR. He's pulling back. He's getting that car ready. You can hear that engine roaring. Here he goes. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my gosh. He literally, he just did it. He really went ahead and did it. Referee's checking in on him. Back at it again with the tag team match. Maybe I'm just having hopeful expectation from these four. I just hope that this no holds barred just makes up. Undertaker, please, man. You got to make up for what you did. So these two, they're over here battling. They're taking it all the way back right there by the rampway. But over here, Big Dog, Big Dog and Shane McMahon, 
They got a little bit something under the ring. Well, it's not a little. It's actually quite big. We got the ladder. We got the announcer table and ring all set up in between. And as you can see, he is holding him up. He is holding him up for a Samoa drop off the apron through the ladder. Yes, sirree. Oh, and part of the announcer table also broke. Look at that. The front of it, but it wasn't the table that was behind it. It was the ladder that we had to break right here in this. And did it? It sure did. All four pieces shattered and spread throughout the ringside area. Next clip. Braun Strowman, he's coming around the ambulance, JR. Really? Really? I mean, is this what's happening right now? Sure looks like it, Hero Fix. He's lifting up that ambulance. He's pulling all that weight. Right there! Right there on Bobby Lashley! One more time, please, for those that didn't see it. Oh, two tons. You want a future prediction of where this feud is going to go? Right here. Eventually, it's going to lead into a steel cage match. We're going to get interference regularly from these two over here, from Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson. So what they're going to do, they're going to be like, all right, there's no good, there's no interference. There's no way anybody can get into this. So we're going to put you guys into a steel cage. Now, I don't see Ricochet and AJ Styles keeping it in the ring. The battle would break out. Match would be done and over. There would be some table stack, maybe by the club. Maybe they would set it up intentionally thinking that Ricochet would be the one going through it. But no, I'm checking my watch, and it's saying 6.30. AJ's on top of one, two, three, four, five, six tables in all. I think the only time that I've done this, we've normally done four. We're up in it. We're up in it two right now in Ricochet. He's up in it with the 6.30 from the top of the steel cage onto AJ Styles. All the way through all six tables. <laughs> yeah. If you guys did enjoy this concept, we did this last year, but I got some more stuff grooving all up in here, and we we're going to drop some more. Again, drop a like. Let me know if you guys want to see a part three to this. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel, and we'll see you on the next one.